you know. Now, I want to deviate just a second, and I want to talk to you about the things that are going on, you know, that are troubling to me and at the same time rewarding to me and, uh, and an honor for me. But you know, along the way, and we've been at this now for, I guess, going on close to 10 months, and you developed a real trust in me. And there was a thing that just came out or, you know, with people at the Green Bar Hotel, and I'll get into that in just a second, but then you have, you have people that are promoting the cast of doubt. You know, I want to just tell you just this. Along the way, there has to have been a lot of really tough decisions. Tough, tough, tough decisions made. You know, whether those decisions were to, you know, close our nursing homes to visitation or make sure that we were the first in the nation to test all of our residents and staff at our nursing homes. The same for the assisted living first in the nation, the same with absolutely getting out our vaccines the fastest, first in the nation, and I have pushed and pushed and pushed to say, still not good enough. You know, we've had to watch really closely after all the economics of our state, and you entrusted me to do that. I took care of the cities and the counties, I took care of your CARES money, and we're getting through it the very, very best we possibly can. Now, the toughest decisions of all, always, are the schools, whether we should play sports. Today, we're embarking upon a new operation that I named yesterday with the National Guard called Operation So, or Operation SOW, Operation Save Our Wisdom, that really gave hope hope to the people that are 80 years old or older. And now we're going to back right up behind that and go to the 70-year-olds and into the 60-year-olds. And I'm going to tell you, by God, we're going to stop this thing. And we're going to stop it together. And we're going to stop it without a backlog of vaccines sitting in a warehouse, as, it, as is happening with a lot of different states. We're not going to let that happen in West Virginia. Now... With all that being said, as you make a decision about going to school, you know, there are some that are going to become upset. And then there are some that are going to cast stones, are they not? Well, they are. And, you know, from time to time, if I, it, you know, the motivation, we, we lose so much focus with what we should really dial into. I'll get to the Greenbrier in just a second. But I want you to know just this, that the absolute most important things always to all of us are how we take care of our people, how we take care of our kids, how we absolutely are on top of every single aspect of what we're doing here. Now, I want everyone to know without any question whatsoever that I have said this repeatedly, and I'm not going to say this again after today. I want you to know that there's no way on earth that I'm going to do anything whatsoever in this capacity, in this job, to benefit me. There's no way. No way. I've not done that from day one, and I won't do that till day end. That's just all there is to it. Now, you need to ask yourself just this, and this is a very, very interesting dilemma. From the standpoint of the Greenbrier, and I think the Greenbrier, you know, they're telling me the Greenbrier just came out with a press release, and I'd like to get a copy of that, you know, if, if anybody's got it, you know, and, uh, and I'd like to see what they've said in the press release. But from the standpoint of the Greenbrier, I want you to know just this. I have been accused often of running my own, my family businesses. 
Man, I've had rocks thrown at me for running my family businesses. Well, I'm going to tell you, I run your state as your governor. And from the standpoint of running my family businesses, especially in this situation, I had no clue. I mean, you may, you may throw rocks at me if you choose to do so, but I was lying in my bed watching the ball drop, you know, and listening to J-Lo sing. Now, I had no clue about all the preparations, all the different things done, not one clue in the world as to what's going on. Now, you know, there, so we got we to do it one way or the other. I mean, you talk about damned if you do and damned if you don't, you know, if there's no way on earth that I'm having anything to do with the business, and then people say, well, why in the world didn't you know? You know, this is like, I mean, what's the difference when me owning some stock in General Motors and General Motors doing something wrong, and then I'm supposed to know about it? Well, I didn't know about it. That's all there is to it. I knew nothing about it. Now, as far as, let me, let me tell you something that, is, uh, that happened a long, long time ago. You know, it happened with Paul Harvey and President Reagan. President Reagan was, uh, was in a situation and he said, I just messed up. And here's what Paul Harvey said, and this is something that absolutely we should consider here. Because I, just like I just said, you're, on, you're damned if you do and damned if you don't. If you knew what was going on with the Greenbrier, that's one thing we shouldn't have been doing that. Well, I didn't know. So I was doing what I was supposed to do there. I didn't know, but then all of a sudden something comes up and I should know. Well, Paul Harvey one time said on his broadcast and a lot of us that are my age know, you know, and remember Paul Harvey and he was terrific on the radio. And he said, for seven years, the Democrats have been trying to convince the American people that Ronald Reagan didn't know what he was doing. And now he comes out and says he can't remember something and the Democrats say he's lying. Well, that's really what you have. I mean, in all honesty, if I could just now, I don't know if I could get, the, if I could get the, oh, okay. Hold on, just, y'all just sit with me just one second. Okay. <clears throat> Let me just get now, I haven't seen this. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this to you, though. This is from the Greenbrier. It says, since the beginning of the COVID pandemic, the Greenbrier has always been in strict compliance with the health guidelines. We continue to be in constant contact with the Greenbrier County Health Department regarding the guidelines, contact tracing, social distancing, and mask wearing. During the evening, all guidelines I guess this evening that we're talking about, during this evening, all guidelines were strictly complied with, including social distance dining, no live entertainment or dance floors, and face coverings were required at all times when not actively eating or drinking. In all dining venues, the chairs were spaced six feet apart. The casino followed all West Virginia lottery regulations, including no more than two patrons at a table. Patrons were not allowed to touch the cards, and every other slot machine was disabled to have social distancing. All these protocols were expanded across all restaurants and bars across our facility. Upon review of the published video, from the New Year's Eve gathering in the upper lobby, some guests in attendance were not wearing face coverings. Those guests, it appeared, were to be actively drinking without a face covering, which, which is allowed per the guidelines. One of our event managers said that these people that were at that gathering in the upper lobby around they gathered around 11.45 p.m. and were dispersed by 12.03 a.m. So in other words, in 18 minutes, they gathered and were dispersed. 
The Greenbrier has always taken the COVID pandemic, pandemic, very, pandemic seriously and its effects on our guests and staff very seriously. We continue to screen all team members, guests, vendors, and contractors before they allow to, they're allowed to enter the, enter the resort property. Now, I want you to know this. Man, I want you to know this loud and clear. It's tremendously important to me, tremendously important to me, that you trust me because I'm never going to tell you anything but just the truth. And I know clearly as I could possibly know that we got a lot, a lot of people out there that are really hurting. And a lot of restaurants, uh, restaurant owners and all, whatever it may be, are really hurting. You know, I can tell you as far as this event goes, I wasn't there. And I can also tell you that we, I have instructed the people at the Greenbrier, I have totally instructed those people at the Greenbrier to continue their investigation in every way and if absolute disciplining is, is in order to take those actions and take them now. I have also told the Greenbrier that no matter how good they thought they were doing, to double down on all their practices as I always tell all of our businesses across our state. I read 85 names today. And absolutely, it's serious, serious stuff. Now let me just tell to say one other thing real quickly, and that's just this. You know, there's been some, some things brought up, you know, well, should we go back to school? Well, you know, and, and, and without any question, we should be going back to school. Now, along the way, as I've done over and over, you know, I am a real believer in education in this, in this state. I will promise you to God above, there has never been a governor that's been more supportive of the education departments and, every, and, and all the educators across our state than me. There's no way. There's no possible way. You know, I'll continue to talk to our educators, but I will not absolutely be bullied around by the teachers' unions. I will continue to talk to our educators because I, I have supported their effort in what they're doing, and I want them to continue to do greatness across this state. They are so, so important to us right now. So important. That's why I took the initiative to start trying to vaccinate them, and I'll get to that in just one second. But without any question whatsoever, I absolutely will stand by talking to the educators and taking their advice on many things and taking them into consideration as we move forward. As far as sports, you know, some, one of the questions the other day was, Governor, how do you feel about telling an assistant coach or whatever that they're not going to be able to play and you've got this terrible event going on at your place? Well, first of all, I go back to just this. If you want me to know about the event and everything, then I got to know what's going on in the businesses and there's no way on God's earth that I can do this and do that too. Now that's one thing. And I've been criticized for doing that, which is ridiculous. And this is pure proof of the ridiculousness of it. I have been criticized for running my own businesses and now I am at home in the bed watching on TV and lo and behold, and we have no knowledge whatsoever. And now I'm criticized because of that. Now, let me just tell you, and just tell you just straight up as it can be, though. Without any question in regard to sports today, somebody somewhere just answer me just this simple question. Please lay aside what's going on at the Greenbrier or what's going on on, the plant, on planet Mongo. Just answer one question. Do you really believe today? Do you really believe today that we ought to be playing high school indoor sports when grandmas will want to come and everything else? Do you really believe that we ought to have our kids and bus drivers and, and whatever it may be, parents or whatever, traveling all across our state when we saw what happened with football and volleyball and all the sports? Do you believe with 85 people dying today do you really believe we ought to do that, irregardless of anything, irregardless of anything? 
Now, I'm telling you, just as straight up as I can be, if our supervisors at the Greenbrier were the least bit derelict in their duties, they'll get disciplined and they'll get disciplined big time. And that will happen immediately. And the only reason that I'm in it is because you've pushed me back to find the knowledge. Now, I told you this too. I told you that we would, we would disclose names and everything. And after thinking really hard about that, is that fair? Is it really fair and is it right to do? Well, it's not right to do. That's all there is to it. Jill Justice is running the Greenbrier. Elmer Capulse is working right with her. And those people beyond that, those people really and truly, to mention other people's names and everything, I think is really counterproductive to those people. I can assure you without any doubt that the protocols that the Greenbrier has been taking have been very, very good. And I can, sure, can assure you without any doubt that if they genuinely screwed this up, they'll be you know what to pay. And without any question, I will assure you beyond any, all doubt that we will double down in every way at the Greenbrier for them to do better and better and better. And I also will assure you without, with, 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 without any doubt that I understand without any question how bad we're hurting all across the state. And I'm trying with all in me every single day to make it go away, to make it do better. Absolutely, I am trying with all in me, and I'll continue to do just that. I'm sorry that that took so long. Let me go back to just some other things and finish this up. 